Okay, so what I did here is I went back to episode number one, boys, and I brought up a clip. I just wanted to bring back those good vibes, because right now as Raptor fans, and I know all you Raptor fans listening right now, don't have much good vibes going on right now. Right now you're quite angry. So I wanted to go back to episode one, October 26th, where A-Rod and myself went solo on episode one and had this to say. What did the Raptors do last night? Raptors look beautiful last night. Come on. What, the, the energy was back. It looked like, I compare the Nick Nurse Fred days, I was looking at it, I was like, that's like an old stuffy corporate office. It was like, oh, it was like squares, like L7, just like, oh, scared to do anything. Like, oh, should we meet at the water cooler? And what'd you do? Happy Monday memes and shit. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're gone. Now it's a call center in New Jersey. Like everyone's just kind of chilling out. I'm here to work and I'm, and I'm going to leave. You know what Which it felt you, like, man? It felt what? like like Ted Rogers was in charge, yeah. and then afterwards, now it's Richard Branson. Yes, they just looked like they were having fun, man. They yeah, that's just, it. Yeah, it was kind of nice to see. Hopefully, it's not just the honeymoon period. Hopefully, you have a good vibe still. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not just the honeymoon period, <laughs> Mamma Mia. <laughs> Welcome back 80 games later to the Sports Ethos Toronto Raptor Podcast. There's only two games left, and we are your hosts, El Hoopo, that's two O's P-O, Mr. A-Rod, A-R-O-D, and Mr. Max Profit, you better pay me. Like I said, only two games left, so let's go, 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 go. Oh, shit. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? What's up, boys? What's up? Oh, Max what? P's camera said <laughs> season is done. Yeah. Season is done. What's oh, going on, A-Ride? Ooh, See, these Raptors did to me, that? man. And I know. Clip, I, in that clip, I had a lineup. My hair was decent. <laughs> I had the same sweater on. That's fucking months later. I got the same sweater. I look like a bum all disheveled. <laughs> did you have the lineup? Yeah. What did the Raptors do last night? Raptors looked clean. Anyway, Jesus man. Christ, man. man even my so... beard, man. It was. It's like what the Raptors do last night. Ra- Same hat though. Oh man. What's going it's on, Max? <laughs> chilling, brothers. Chilling. All right. All right. Well, let's 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 set the table real quick here. Raptors. That was 80 games ago, by the way. That was October 26th hey. after gay one, gay one, Game 1. And, uh, yeah, so since the last time... <laughs> no ditty, no ditty. Hey, 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 hold hey, on yo. a second. All right, so we got a lot to say today, but let's get these two games over with. So since the last time we spoke, the Raptors had two games. In the first game, Raptors went down 123 to 140 to the Pacers which was a rough one. Um, <clears throat> let me know. Let me know. What did, what did you guys see? What did you guys feel? And uh, what was the pain that you went through with this one? Explain it to me. Uh, ooh, I'm mm. going to go with a little uh, premature ejaculation. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get right into the, the heat of it, man. Because Boom. I know a place that can help you out with that, <laughs> yeah. by the way. <laughs> no, we'll get around to that one. <laughs> but... I'll tell you what, though. The Raps just blew their load in the first quarter in that game. Uh, And then the Pacers are like, oh, yeah? We've been doing this 80-something games. So, you know, it was interesting to see the Raptors go up double digits on the Pacers, looking Mm. all nice and everything. And then Mm. Pacers just literally hung 140 on these guys like it was nothing. Hung Uh, 140, true. Yeah. Using yeah. the innuendo terms. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, it hurt, it hurt. What about you, Max? What uh, slick shirt, by the way? Slick, slick, slick. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, the word is Novocaine. Novocaine. Damn. Numb. I'm hey. numb. <laughs> I don't feel nothing. <laughs> it's just like, go ahead, uh, drill, pull it out. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> you know what oh, boy. Just do take your work. it out. Release do your work. The, pain. the Nova, Nova Kane is kicked in. Go ahead and, and do your work. It's like a root canal. A re root canal. A re root canal, yeah. Yeah, that's what this whole season is like. A re root canal. Yeah. Well, this one gave me the vibe of a re root canal. How painful and gross and terrible is that? that yeah. We compare it, our team to a root canal. Um,. <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, it's like, compared to being, it's almost like being locked up 
right? It's almost what, like, like being in Saw. No, in like Kingston Pen, <laughs> love handles, right? So okay. you're, you're locked up, but the release for the Raptors, so the, it feels like the Raptors, with nobody's healthy. The, the Raptors are locked up right now, but we do know the release date is next season. Hey. You know what I mean? So that's the way I'm looking at it. I feel like they're locked up and they're coming home next season. So we just got to get through this and they got to continue with their push-ups, their pull-ups, their dips, their burpees. They just got to eat, 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 get healthy and hopefully come back next season on release date, come home in shape, ready to go. So that's the yes, way I yes. look at this. Yeah. But I have one quick thing here I want to play. I, I dug into the crate from episode one. We also have one other prediction. Speaking oh, no. of the Indiana Pacers, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but listen to this video. Where did I put it? Yeah, this is. Uh, had to put that music behind it. Wow. I got. It. Let me tell you, who do you got as the NBA champion? Indiana who's gonna Pacers. Win? Indiana Pacers, Indiana man. Pacers. At the field house, they're winning it. It's yes. about to go down. We're gonna do it for Larry Bird. We picked <laughs> we picked the Pacers to win the championship, both of us, day one, on a Raptors podcast. <laughs> I was I was not of sound mind and body when I made that pick. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with it. Uh, oh, listen, listen, yeah. they're playing well. I'm happy to see them in there. I like all the classic teams, you know, to do well because you need yeah. to hate on people. You need to have ammunition to have fun in this league. Yeah, so it's great. Uh, but man. A Rod yeah. asked the bartender just before the game. Yeah. 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 That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. So they got out of that Pacers game. They lost by 17. And then they played the Brooklyn Nets last night. Brooklyn. And they lost 106 to 102. They, they were in this game. They were leading. And then they just let it slip at the end. They tanked perfectly in this one. So if that's the way you want to look at it. What... Uh, what was your vibe, a What was your what was your take? Your vibe hit me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, man, just <laughs> maybe a Novocaine Junior. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of with Max on this, you know, because I saw the Nets coming into town, mm-hmm. and you know, to be perfectly honest with every Raptors fan, I mean, it, you want to see the Raps win, you want to see them play well, you love basketball. This is why you do it. But at the end of the day, like we're we're game eighty and we all know that we don't give a shit at this <laughs> point because we're kind of locked into like you know the bottom six, mm-hmm. and then you look, get a, an opponent like Brooklyn come in and they don't give a shit either because their their season's done. They're not yeah. playing for anything, yeah. right? So like I mean they started Noah Clowney, you know, in the mm-hmm. lineup, right? Mm-hmm. And Cam Johnson was available too. So it says enough. Like they're they're just trying to look for guys at this point. And Mikel Bridges is doing his Mikel Bridges thing where, like, hey. He wants to go to the Knicks. Yeah. For all you betters out there, mm-hmm. uh, we don't usually talk about this, but we'll, we'll talk about something with the uh, with the betting. Just just to make sure you guys don't lose your money on Mikel Bridges. John Tane's mm-hmm. parlay. Yeah, and we'll get around to that, too. Uh, Mikel Bridges has an Iron Man streak going. Mm-hmm. He is known for not missing games. So they will continue to start him. However, he is going to be removed and not play more than – maybe 20 minutes a night so if yeah. you're betting on Mikel bridges do not lose your money and put your house down on this guy because they will just start him for the sake of continuing his streak and out of professionalism uh, mm-hmm. but they will keep him on the bench so there you go good you info. heard it good first info. everybody you heard it first that yeah. uh, get your money down john tay's parlay yeah. get in there and make that money <laughs> you, yes sir <laughs> what about yeah. you max p what do you got with the Brooklyn um, Nets. I got on my old school Raptors purple today. Yep. And it feels like we ain't been this irrelevant since those early days playing uh, the Vancouver Grizzlies in a uh, baseball stadium. <laughs> Yikes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yikes. I remember yeah. I went to one of those games. The seats had like some shit blocking the game. It was like, <laughs> I never made I'm, it to a game in the dome, did. man. Did you? Oh, <laughs> man. That was my first one, man. That I even went to Maple Leaf Gardens for games, bro. Yeah, yeah that's the, cool. setup, the setup was not very professional in those early days. <laughs> no, it was in the corner. I just stuck it in the corner. <laughs> some weird dinosaur, and that was it. <laughs> uh, but hey, it turned out to be a great marketing move. Yeah. Um, and we're on the come up. Oh, it's just like we were back in 1995. It's a fresh start. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. Well, um, yeah, I, uh, for the Nets game, I don't know. I, I We'll get on it later. We'll speak on them. But uh, for me, it's no more juice. <laughs> it seems that the juice is gone. And uh, they just, like I said, they just need to go into the summer, heal up, <clears throat> get right, and come back on release date. Come home right season one, or next season game one. So, yeah. And that's that. That's that. And that's that's that. just the way I look at it. And that's back that, when, yeah. Back when Bishop fell off the roof. That's it. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Clown dude's um, like, oh, you got the juice now. I said, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got the juice now. <laughs> uh, I got a question, A Rod, for you. Uh, quick, you know that big, that big dude at the gym who's got the big belly? He's got that fat belly, but he grunts and he screams and he mm-hmm. slams weights and he wears yeah. a fanny pack and yeah. he's got these crazy eyes uh-huh. and he whistles. That yeah. dude, right? Mm. I'm wondering, is is there anywhere in the city that could help him <laughs> shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> I almost went to a Lenny and canceled my membership because of this yeah. stupid fuck. I look at him in the face every single day and I look, I give him the eye like, I'm going to grab one of those 25 pound plates. And I'm going to put it through your skull. Like real close. This guy whistles. Whistle while you work. Like this type oh, of dude. No. Oh yeah, man. He carries around his bag. He's got he's got he's writing down every set in a little like psychotic book. And he's anyways. I do you boys know of anywhere in the city that maybe there's some shut the fuck up fluid? Uh oh. that maybe we can help this guy out with or just close his mouth anywhere? Listen, Max knows all the spots. Max Especially I don't if know he's if helping, they have. Man. I don't know if they have this like written on any of their product, but uh, <laughs> yeah, the like, I'm pretty sure they got some folks at the desk at the register that can help you with that at Popeye Supplements. Uh, Popeye Supplements for all your, I don't know what that is, but you just need to shut the fuck up. Needs go to Popeyes, maybe they'll help you out with some therapy, some ther- therapeutic <laughs> sessions. <laughs> Well, as you know, that means that this is another episode of This or That. Yes, indeed. And between Brooklyn and Indiana, we're staying in Indiana because let me tell you, when you do a little bit of research on the state of Indiana, you have no idea what absolute legends and classes come out of that state. So let's get it going right here. All right. Brampton team, uh, Greenwood team. Who you drafted out of these two Indiana legends? Who's your number one pick right here to start your squad? Larry Legend? Larry Bird. All right. We got Larry Bird as a possible pick. One of the greatest Mm -hmm. players to ever lace him up. One of the greatest shooters of all time and tough as nails. Mm -hmm. We got Larry Bird or Reggie Miller. Mm -hmm. Who you got here? Reggie Miller, who one of the also one of the greatest shooters of all time, clutch as hell and a mm-hmm. fiery competitor as well, and went back down from anybody. So who you got, Larry Legend? Wow, what a combo! Or Mr. Reggie Miller, who do you got, A. Rod? I think it's easy for me, man. Bird. Who do you got? Bird. Game. Oh, you going with Bird? Yeah. It's, Tell me it's, why. It's just too easy for me, man. I mean, if I look back to you know the beginning of the golden era of basketball games, NBA mm-hmm. hang time, NBA jam, you know, NBA live. You had Jordan versus what? Jordan versus bird. Yep. We don't it's play indeed. these games, man. Like no. it's just Jordan versus bird. You're never going to get Jordan versus Reggie, no. Reggie versus somebody else. No, it's no. just bird, man. So <laughs> rolling with bird, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like that. 1-0 for Larry Legend, Mr. Larry Bird from, I wrote down where he was from. He's from, he's from a place, I forget the name now in Indiana, but uh, it doesn't, oh, I have French it right Lake? here. No, he, it's an actual, actual, where is it, Mr. Larry Bird? He is from West Baden Springs, Indiana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got 1-0 for Larry Bird. Who do you got, Max P? Larry Bird or Reggie Miller for that Brampton team? Who's I'm going with the triple OG, Larry Bird. Boom. With a, Along with uh, Magic Johnson, they uh, they created, like, this business that is making billions of dollars today. Like, it's on those two right there. Yeah, right there. 
yeah. this thing didn't make no money like people don't even understand this thing did not make any money they yeah. were in the red until these two guys came <laughs> you know what I'm saying changed the um, game man changed the game and um and Larry Bird is so gangster he once played a quarter <laughs> left handed left handed just talking, <laughs> talking um shit. yep he called yeah. it when Jordan was he said Jordan was God in sneakers um yeah. early when people didn't respect Jordan yet he said it mm-hmm. and he told Magic Johnson calm down it's 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 Jordan's turn now it's it's yeah, his turn he, he got it like he's the one that told Magic like relax he got it mm-hmm. Yeah, and so yeah, Larry Bird is, and plus he had the whole, the whole white America on his back, and he held them down well. <laughs> Still does. <laughs> he held them down very, very well through all yeah. that crazy political, yeah, uh, racial stuff. He was like, "Yeah, I got this. I got this." <laughs> Man, what a legend! Mm-hmm. What a legend! So two zero for Larry Bird. You know, I I. I wanted to put Reggie up there just because Reggie to me, I, I grew up, I was a huge Reggie Miller fan and I had the Reggie Miller jersey and I just thought that thing, I wouldn't even, I, I would wear it outside from time to time, but I was scared to wear it outside because I didn't want to get it scuffed up, didn't want to get it dirty. If anybody came at me, it was the old one with the champion logo, right? Right. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, right okay. Here. Remember the, the yeah, champion Yeah, the C champion right logo there. stitched on and then the thing was pasted on. Yeah, man. So I was kind of yeah, like, yeah. I, I wore that thing very carefully because I, I, I was a big Reggie Miller fan. But, you know, when you think about it, this is really a no-brainer. The, uh, <laughs> so I'm with you. It's a clean sweep. I just wanted to touch on these two legends. But Larry Bird, Larry Bird, A-Rod put it real well right there, is that there was there was no Jordan and, you know, Jordan versus uh, Reggie. There was no Jordan versus whoever. There was Jordan versus Bird. Mm-hmm. And Bird mm-hmm. was just, Bird also didn't back down from anybody. He didn't back down. <laughs> and do you know that he had a, he had a, a crippled finger or, or a messed up finger on his shooting hand as well like gerald green had do you guys know that it was like no. bent on his shooting hand so wow. not only did he have, he had to deal with a messed up finger that kind of like went went like this way and he uh, might have the record today if he didn't have that messed up finger look at that man so he had that he had anyways he was just one of the greatest to ever do it and i loved his attitude and his heart and his fight and his his grit and there's there was no stopping this guy and mm-hmm. hey you talk about hay bale strength too that guy right there and that's basketball that's on a barn you put it there's a bet there's a rim that's on the barn and you go mm-hmm. outside it's dusty and you go out in your same pair of shoes your same pair of chucks and you just shoot and whap whap Wap all day, all night. That's where he's from. He's from that that sect, that little populace, that world. And man, he did it. So uh, yeah, clean sweep for Mr. Larry Bird. The best, one of the best to ever do it. All right, here we go. One, a great sneaker commercial too. When he pulled up on the limo. When he pulled up in the limo. Yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. On Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go and we're going to travel through Indiana and then we're going to go to this little place called Gary, Indiana, where there was a family who made some absolutely brilliant music and one of those kids was Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask two of you right now that I have you sitting here, tell me right now, what is your favorite Michael Jackson tune and this is we're, we're going away from any Macaulay Culkin jokes we're going away from any monkey business we're going away from any of that we're just talking straight music here so he made some brilliant tunes and we, we try to stay away from the all the other business but let me know what is your favorite Michael Jackson tune if you can nail it down to one I have three but uh, yeah. you, you guys can start. I got a, I got a few for sure. I'm, hit me, oh, hit me. This my first is one's so... going to go beat it. That's beat it. Tough. Ooh, wait. That's my first one, man. I still remember blasting that when he died that day. I had that on my bows just blasting through my house, man. man. Yeah, that might be the best music video of all time. Mm-hmm. One of the best. Uh, side, side joint, you know those guys in the video? Those are real bloods, real L.A. bloods and real L.A. crips I, in that video. That. As, I didn't know that. That, that, that's not a game just having those two guys on each side like that. They did that because they had to do that. This is That was two different hoods. Sheesh. <laughs> I mean, well, that does make it one of the greatest music videos ever. <laughs> Thriller was great, too. Thriller, man. I mean, PYT. Yup. Oh, man. I mean, you know, 
Okay, I also got to throw this one in there. I don't know how many people love this song, but I definitely love it. Rock mm. My World. Ah, uh, man, that's one of my three. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That, that video with Chris Tucker, let's go, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, you can't that's get it. You can't um, get her, Mike. You can't get Oh, Oh, watch yeah, that's me. A, that's a very <laughs> groovy tune right there. Rock yeah. My World is very oh, groovy. Man, right here, yeah. Yeah. This one right here, man. Oh, man, that beat just comes. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. Impossible not to move. You know, we try to, uh, you know, we try to steal Dark Child. I still got, I'm pretty sure who actually made the beat. Yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, uh, Mike Jack invited him over to his house just to try and steal his uh, publishing and stuff, right? No way. Not necessarily steal it, but buy it off of it. Mm. Wow, that's he amazing. used to buy people's publishing like you collect, like you collect cards. Well, he bought the, yeah. he bought the Beatles. That's, yeah, that was like when people realized how gangster yeah. he was with it, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> how about you, Max? I know um, you, you said once uh, when an episode passed that you had the red leather jacket, didn't you? Yes, yes. I had the red leather. My, yeah. my cousin, my cousin Jim Box had the black leather. I didn't have yeah. that one. I had the one with the zippers. The one with the zippers, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, um, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that one right there. Oh man! But um, Sheesh. my favorite song has got to be something from the Off the Wall album. So I'll go with uh, Rock with you. Oh, that's a big. That's a great dude. song. Great, great song. Oh, yeah, I'll man. go with rock with you. I like that. I like that. Uh, for me, man, I have three, and my there's one. The first one is just listen. One of the most gangster ass tunes ever recorded because of the what he's talking about. No, All right, I know where you're going. what he's talking about, and yeah. and listen here, man. Come on. I knew you were going Come right on. away with this. Come on, man. The LED lights on the possible tiles. not to move. You know what I mean? You just you just start dancing, man. It's just it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Jackson, let me tell you something. That that man right there, he was in music. He was in the beat. I've never seen somebody so in the music. Like his movements were like other than uh, maybe in, James Brown is the only other person. Yes, yes, yes. James Brown is the only other person I can really say in it. Was just yeah, like forget about in it. it. Forget <laughs> about it. And one of the and, greatest and, and, lines. Yeah, hmm? and uh, James Brown invented funk. Yeah, with, with the with the beat starting on the one, and then Mike Man. Jackson invented the pop star. There was no pop star before Michael Jackson. No, folks. no, no. And now one you got of the greatest kinds. lines in that <laughs> song is when they say when he when he's going on about the baby, and then she show me a picture. The eyes look like mine, and he goes, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> the players. <laughs> the, 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 Man, <laughs> like that was Maury Povich culture. before Maury Povich. Man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he was the culture. He was the yeah, culture. Whatever shit. was going on, he was like, "All right, the here thing, you go." The thing that that's crazy about MJ is that you could throw on any one of his songs yeah. today, and yeah. it sounds like it just came out. Just came out. That's the craziest thing to me. Like the music is just generational, man. <sighs> Yeah, because man. he's the blueprint, you know. Like, like you're never gonna be like, oh, was this doing... song's old or something like that. No, no, man. Nah, 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 because no matter everything what you, you like, on. everything yeah. you like is based off of his shit, yeah. right? And it so. gets you moving right, right away. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's impossible not to dance to Billie mm -hmm. Jean. Impossible. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's you. If you don't have the feeling that you're about to dance when that song starts <laughs> off, there's something <laughs> wrong with you. Yeah, like yeah. there's something wrong with you but there's a one more tune is that people talk about the jacksons so the jackson five when they when they started you know they put out records and they did their thing you remember the song i don't know if you guys remember this but do you remember torture oh. yeah, yeah of course i remember torture oh. This Holy is one of shit. my favorite songs of all time. Now, when they when put we out that kids, video. And yeah, this is the Transformers G.I. Joe era. Yeah, this is, this Michael is Jackson thing. wasn't in the video. That's a nah, nah, nah. model of him. He wasn't yeah. in the video. No. Nah. I don't think he was in any of the videos. Nah, they had so much drama. And they put yep. the, the, the production company of the music video went bankrupt. It was uh, so gangster, man. Crazy. But, just this tune, man. He was singing lead, and it was a dope tune. Oh, Jackie Jack, yeah. uh, Jackie produced this one. Yep. Oh, he had a few good songs on that album. You can't stop with this one, man. That that tune, I've been man, playing that tune all day. Man, I feel like watching He Man right now, bro. Um, don't watch the new one. Man. No, 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 no. no. That you gotta terrible. be careful with those. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta be careful with those remixes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to that song, specifically that song right there, because uh, man, I used to just 
just play that one real loud back in the day. I love that tune, man. So I just <laughs> wanted to bring it up today on the pod. And there's, it would be a shame for us not to talk about Janet here before we go yeah. and get out of Gary, Indiana. That Shout out to man. Janet. Shout out to Janet. Everybody that, uh, loves Janet. That's hard to do. Man, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson changed it for me. That my my taste for women, man. I'll tell you that much. My the, my hue changed after Janet Jackson. <laughs> my hue changed. <laughs> She's a beauty queen, an absolute beauty queen, man. And a voice. Five magazine match. when Janet Jackson got oh. thick. Ooh, oh, we God. Oh, God, no. Vibe magazine. God. God mm-hmm. Vibe magazine, man. Vibe the source. Yep. XXL, yeah. Aww. Murder Dog. Remember <laughs> Murder Dog? Anyways. Yeah, I yeah. remember Murder Dog. Yeah. They'd have like the, the obscure guys on there, like mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Brother Lynch hung on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so since we're still in Indiana, man, I want to give a shout out to Pa what is it? Plainfield Correction Center in Indiana hey. with, where uh Mike Tyson was was who did his time for after the uh the alleged rape case so he spent his time in plainfield correctional center and was released in 1995 he did his time and he um yeah i just want to give a shout out to indiana held that line back because <laughs> <laughs> they got through that because remember when he came out oh boy I was going to say, I'm about to be on Indeed.com tomorrow, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> when he got out, nobody Monster, was safe. Monster.ca, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Max, better brush up that CV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so another shout-out here is uh, after the Indiana game, I wanted to tell you boys this the, the, when I got the phone call right away, but I said, you know what, I'm going to hold this for the pod. But I have a friend at the coffee shop. This is a true story. I swear to God, I got a call after the, the next day after the Indiana game. His name is Carmine. We call, he's at the coffee shop. It's, we call him Car, Carmine the Wolf because he's so mm-hmm. hairy. Like he's just poor guy. He's Portuguese and Italian. He's just hairy. Like you can barely see his hands. That's why we call him the Wolf. <laughs> Carmine the Wolf, right? So Carmine... Carmine said after the Indiana game, he says he took a little bit of mushrooms. So oh, yeah, how much did you take? He goes, I don't know. I just took a bunch. I took a bunch of what was left in the freezer. So yeah, he goes, you, you want to know what happened, Ben? I go, what? What happened? He goes, it all started to hit me real slow. And then I sat on the couch and it started to hit me even heavier and heavier. I said, what happened? He goes, I laid down on the couch and it all just hit me at once. Everything turned to fractals. And this is right after the Pacers game. So everything turned to fractals. He goes, you know what was in the fractals? I said, what, what was in the fractals? He goes, it all started to form into TJ McConnell. <laughs> there was fractals of TJ McConnell giving me behind nightmare. the back passes and saying, catch it, catch it, catch it. And it was echoed. And I, he goes, I don't even like T.J. McConnell. And this guy is tripping me out. And he goes, it lasted an hour of fractal <laughs> T.J. McConnell because of a mushroom trip. Not an amount of mushrooms that he should have sl- slowed down on. But uh, can you, like, I, I was like, I was out of words. I said, so you're telling me right now that T.J. McConnell was in your trip. He said, yeah, man. It lasted one hour. I said, that shit's crazy. Those are the wrong That's why I quit shrooms, man. Yeah. Like, that's just... uh, anything you could have a bad trip on, I'm like, nah, no thanks. <laughs> well, you got to know how much you're taking, right? You got Yeah, yeah. It comes with inst- uh, instructions. Unless yeah. you're, you're like 15 and you don't really know what's going on. But it's just like, it's, yeah. <laughs> they come with instructions. You got to be in a good vibe. You yeah. can't be in a down mood and let the shrooms try and pick you up. Yeah, you can't go after a loss of the Pacers and take a bunch of that. <laughs> no, and next, you know, no, TJ no. You take them after house. a win. You take them mm-hmm. after a win. Mm-hmm. You're good to go. Don't try and use them as an upper. <laughs> oh, man. Well, staying in Indiana after that, a little <laughs> shout out to uh, uh, Mike, Mike Epps who's from Indianapolis, Indiana, one of the funniest dudes to ever do it, man. One mm-hmm. of the funniest comedians. Oh, yeah, for it. sure. Like, just, like, real funny, not just... Real like, funny. Exactly. Yeah, like, if you met him in real life, type funny. Yeah. yeah. Black, Black Doug from Hangover. <laughs> <You remember? laughs> 
Yes. He, I think Mike Epps was the one who came up with the joke actually about Mike, Michael Jackson's dad. Joey said, I wish my dad beat me into superstardom. <laughs> I, I think it was Mike Epps who said that, Joey. I could be wrong, but I thought that shit was funny. <laughs> I wish my dad beat me in Superstar. You ever see that, that Chris Tucker special on Mike on uh, Mike Jackson when he was like, "Yeah, uh, you know, we, me and Mike be riding in the car, and he'd be turning on Rick Ross, and he'd be making that noise like, huh?" <laughs> and he's like, "Mike, you can't be doing that, man. It's ruining the song, right?" And he's like, "I'm sorry, Chris. I love Rick Ross." <laughs> 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 Oh man, that's funny. Oh man. That's funny. Every time somebody says Rick Ross, I feel like saying rest in peace to Biggie. I just I just yeah. gotta throw that out there, right? <laughs> just gotta throw that out there right there. Uh, well another one here in Indiana was remember Danny Granger. If you guys remember yeah. Yes, Danny, Danny Granger was one of my favorites. But he was one of the know? few players in the league that didn't wasn't afraid of LeBron back in the day. Yep. That's right. That's right. Never Danny backed Granger. out from LeBron. It was hilarious, bro. One of the original fantasy studs. Mm-hmm. Yes. But also, he spent his money building a real bat cave. I don't know if you guys knew that. Did not Dan- know. No way. Danny awesome. Granger built the bat oh. cave. But because is that a picture of, of his bat cave? This is, this is what he was building, yes. But oh, okay, because okay. of COVID, it, it didn't get finished. But he literally was building a bat cave in Indiana, like true, exactly to the specs of this. Like, how wild is that? That's awesome. Very cool. If he had the red phone in there too, man, oh, Oh, forget about it. No. And last but not least, this has nothing to do with Indiana, but there was some news that dropped down today, down the line. O.J. Simpson passed away today at 75 Mm -hmm. due to cancer. O.J. Simpson. O.J. motherfucking Simpson. Today, O.J. lived his last day. and um, some peace to the juice, man. Yeah. some peace to the juice. But it got me thinking. I wonder. Imagine reincarnation was real. And, ima- <laughs> and imagine O.J. came back as a pair of leather gloves. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, fucked man. up that would be. <laughs> you looking around in the... In the department store, like what the fuck? Where am and I? Some, <laughs> and some pervert buys him and is always grabbing his dick with it all the time. So the rest of OJ's life, he's he's a leather gloves of some pervert who's always oh, grabbing dicks. No. Oh man. man, what a way to go! Oh up. no, <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, OJ. Of course, no man, disrespect. I, I used to love OJ when he was in Naked Gun too, man. The crazy else. thing about it in '95 when that game got interrupted. I yes. did not know. I did not know O.J. Simpson was a football player. I just thought he was that goofball from the Naked Gun movies. I, so <laughs> yeah, I was he com- made that switch. You're so right. I was confused as to what is the big deal about this guy from the Naked Gun movies? Why are they stopping the basketball game for, for this? The, for some extra? And yeah. it's like I find out. Oh, he's a legendary football player, and it's like just before my time. Where were you guys when the verdict went down? When when the not guilty went down, do you remember where you're at? I think I was at home. My dad was watching. Yeah, hard copy. Um, <laughs> I remember, I remember where I was when the L.A. riots popped off, but I don't remember when the, the O.J. thing. Like all those were together: the Rodney yeah, King, the riots, Rodney the O.J. King. case. They were all mm-hmm. like in that same era. Yeah, I was in the school library at my high school. Because it was in some, I think it was in English class, and we were in the library, and then that verdict was going down. You remember the old AV rooms in high school? Yeah. Had, like the TVs and everything. TV like that. On, that, on that stand. So a show for the, the VCR, and then a TV yeah. on top. Yeah. So they put it on there, and we're all around there watching. The whole high school stopped, actually. Our whole high school stopped for the verdict. And everybody uh-huh. was watching, and wherever, listen. And then when it went down, boom. So I was in a high school library when wow. not guilty went down. Yeah. One of the biggest cases of our time, man. And uh, yeah, I was just listening to the lawyer. One of the lawyers that helped him win the case. What oh, a yeah. weird spot to yeah. What a weird spot to be in. Like to be proud of the job you did as a lawyer, but then yeah. all that stuff that it caused is like wow. <laughs> right? Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely wild. But uh, rest, OJ. Rest. They didn't fit. <laughs> they had to quit. 
Yeah. <laughs> it didn't fit because you had another glove on underneath. Hey, like, hey, hey, I'm just hey, saying. Hey, <laughs> hey, it didn't hey, fit, hey. though. We don't got to get into all that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I don't know. And there was someone yeah. else there that night, man. They never flushed that out, man. What's going on? That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, that means this was another edition of this or that. Yeah. Brought to you by Popeye Supplements. Wherever, you, if if you got somebody you know that needs a little bit of that, shut the fuck up. Ask them at the front desk, and maybe they'll give you a little bit of that. All right, boys. So. Uh, We'll go around the NBA here, and I I actually don't have anything because I'm so poisoned by these 80 past games of the Raptors that I don't have anything. So I wanted to ask you guys, what you got? What what has hit your attention this last this past week in the NBA? Dallas, 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 Dallas. Dallas. Hey. Oh man. Uh, four versus five in that West. Them and the Clippers. Uh, I think they're only half a game back. I'm not sure who owns the tiebreaker, but. Be interesting to see how they close out the season. Who gets home court? I don't mm. really think it matters to be honest, though, because nobody gives a fuck about Clippers games. Um, no, no, they don't. I don't think anybody even goes to them. Maybe Billy Crystal still goes, but Billy I think they got a pretty. I mean, in LA, they got a pretty big fan base, but it's not passionate like LA. It ain't Lakers no. passionate. Where like you miss no. a shot and they're like at your front door, like asking you. No, no, like, nobody knows Clippers yeah. fans exist. They're very yeah. quiet. Kill for Kobe's so, Lakers but fans. Dallas, man, hey. Luca and Kyrie, unguardable, one v one. Right now, they are, yeah, you're right. Unguardable. So, yeah. I mean, Luca already owns that poverty franchise, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the playoffs, man. If they try and uh, just stick Kawhi on him, because he'll still own Kawhi. Uh, do you think? Just to stay with you here. Do you think the Clippers can actually do something this year? Do you think no, the Clippers can do it? Not. No, 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 no. It's a shit vibe team. Um, it's got yeah, shit vibes just, written all over it. They got no health. Yeah. Did you see that, that no uh, interview with Paul George the other the other day when they asked him like, so what do you think? Uh, like, do you think you can talk to James Harden about his slump that he's going through? Like, what kind of words you know would you encourage James with? He's like, I don't know. I'm not the coach. <laughs> so, Is that what Paul George? Yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah, it's like it's kind of a stupid yeah. question, but it's also just like, like these guys don't care, man. They're like, yeah, yeah. And um, when um, when Westbrook got hurt. It became very, very clear to everybody watching those Clippers games. Oh, these guys don't like each other, man. Mm -hmm. These yeah. guys do not like each other. You know, they're yeah. just there doing the the check collecting thing. How you call it, A hey, Rob? Wage thief. Wage thief. <laughs> they're out there I wage thiefing, heavy. Wage thiefing. Grand larceny. You know, it's just <laughs> like, bro. And um, so, yeah, so the Clippers. Uh, they got a billionaire that's just hanging on to a bunch of guys that he doesn't want to let go. Like, well, this is what happens when you got guys like Jerry Jones who treat the team like they're a toy. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't see the forest for the trees. Like, they should have been, like, to give Kawhi Leonard a contract when he's clearly not ever going to be healthy. Wow. Yeah, why that's crazy. That? You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why would you do that, right? Um, so the Clippers are going to clip on. And, um, <laughs> And Dallas is stupid nice. They got no D, yeah. but they they got some D. Like, they got some yeah. players that can Selective play D. D. Maybe enough you D. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. They got Gabbard. They got Washington. They can play D. No one yeah. else can. Gafford. Gafford um, can, can. Yeah, uh, Gafford and, and, uh, and Washington can play some yeah, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Lakers yeah. could get to the Western Conference Finals again. No, hell no. Hell no. If, they, if they get the right matchups. No. No, and LeBron no. decides to come off the bench, but that'll never happen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, they're going to get in. They're going to face Denver, who won last night against Minnesota. So they're the one seed. Yeah. So well, let's Minnesota do it right looks now. really good. Let's do it right now. We listened to our prediction from uh, after game one, said Indiana Pacers, mm -hmm. more jokingly, of course. But yeah. let's, let, let's put out who's going to win today. This is 80 games later. All right. Who do you got? Who's everybody got to win the NBA championship this year? I'm going to go with Denver versus Philly and mm. Denver winning it again. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit bolder. He. I'm going to go a little bit bolder. I'm going to go Dallas, hey. Boston. Dallas, Boston. Dallas, Boston. Dallas, Boston. Whoa, that, that's bold. And I'm going to say Dallas wins. That is Dallas very bold. Dallas going to win the yeah. NBA championship. I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Mark Dallas. Cuban's going to have – he's going to bust a nut right on the court. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he won't care. He'll do it right on camera. He's just gonna perb out. <laughs> I know. I know. Right they're brand with the Cowboys. I know they're inconsistent, and I'm just gonna throw it out there. It might implode in the first, not first round, because they're playing the Clippers. Second round might implode, but if those guys are able to stay healthy, there yeah. is not a two-man combo better than those two guys right now. Well, don't Jason get me wrong. Has I figured would love something to out see over it. there. Jason Kidd yeah. has figured something out over there, and he is—he was a point guard. I, I still here you don't have, even think he's a good coach. I'm gonna throw it out there. Nobody really does. Really, listen, I think we've realized with Doc Rivers, there really aren't good coaches. <laughs> Doc Rivers. There's just guys that catch a wave that seem to fit at the right time, you know. Yeah. yeah. But to be able to tra- translate that to different types of teams in different situations, look at Greg Popovich. It's you know. Yeah. Um, I don't think coaching good coaches is overrated. Other than Phil Jackson, I don't really know coaches that can really just reinvent their themselves. You know. So, so we we got Denver and we had Dallas. I'm gonna stick with my original pick. I still have the vibe that it's gonna go back to back. It's gonna be Denver, mm-hmm. and I do think that it's gonna be actually a Denver Boston final. Oh, and you think Boston's gonna get there? I do think Boston's gonna get there. Milwaukee's okay. shut. They're done. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just can't see anybody. Uh, just they've been doing the perfect resting all year. They have been resting their guys all year, very, very well, and they're prepared. Like the exact opposite of what OKC has done, where they blew it a little too quick. And uh, so I just think it's going to be Denver, though. I think it's going to be in six games as well. I don't even think that shit's going to seven. I think it's going to be Denver in six. Boom, back to back champions, and uh, that's my pick. Mm-hmm. That's my pick. Right. If there's anything else, you guys, anything else around the NBA right now you want to speak on before we let this one go? Mm. Uh, one small yeah. note. Hopefully, Scoot Henderson does better. He's been playing a little bit better. He's been lately. playing better though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping that you know he pulls through because listen, we need younger guys to keep coming into the league and making it good. Mm-hmm. So, for the sake of basketball and for the sake of the fandom, fanship. Yeah. Let's keep it going with these young guys. Let's hope they get better. And he was and, G League Ignite as well, wasn't he? Yes. Yes, and, yes. And, and next year, Memphis going to be back, man, with John Moran. Oh, yeah. And the boys, because they're shit right now, but that's just injuries. Next year, when they come back healthy, that's going to be They're like the Raptors, yeah, where I said they're locked up, but they're coming home mm-hmm. soon. They, they got out everybody's out. For sure. And shout out to ant Man and Shea Gildress uh, for plugging in that big hole that John Morant and Zion left. You know, like mm-hmm. they 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 fucked up the program with them not being what they we what we projected them to be. You know, like there was a hole left there in sort of yeah. the next generation. And you've seen people kind of just reverted back to talking about LeBron all the time when that we should have been we should have here. we should have moved on. But you had Ja and Zion messing up. Yeah. But you see Shay and Ant Man saying, "Nah, you should have been talking about us the whole time. It was yeah. never Ja." And Zion, they nice and all, but it was mm-hmm. us that you should have been looking at, you know? And that's the thing. I picked Denver to win, but my heart wants Minnesota. To oh, go for sure. And, and you can't root against Minnesota. You can't. Wouldn't that be nice to see Ant Man? You're not a basketball fan if you don't want Minnesota to win this championship. <laughs> Send the video. Send the video. <laughs> just imagine that. Just imagine that. That final, man. It's God just, I, I just don't like Cat getting all that success for being trash. Being talented and trash, you know, like yeah, yeah, getting carried by this young guy. But maybe he'll. But this year he's been playing like a G, so maybe he'll he's come back, back and ball too. out. Yeah, he's, he's coming back. back from that knee surgery. Yeah. So yeah. Embiid and Cat coming back is going to be interesting to see. So one one last thing. Give give me what's what's a uh, a Rob? What do you think Embiid's going to do in the playoffs? I always like your Embiid takes. <laughs> Embiid in the playoffs? Yeah. What's he going to do? Remember, he's been resting now. His last chance, Remember, right? he this is kind of like Le- what LeBron did in the oh, bubble wow. with the cheat with the cheating and getting the rest before the finals start. You know. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, just give me just give me a, a quick second. I just want to check the standings real fast. Me and my yeah, uh, my brother yeah. okay, and my so brother in law were saying this could be the year where he gets to cheat his way into the finals. Philly's a seven. Philly's mm-hmm. the seven, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen with these guys is they're going to end up being the seven because they'll beat Miami in that play-in game. Yeah. Mi- Miami doesn't look right this year. I know that no. you know we're used to them going up and down, and then all of a sudden they turn it on and playoff Jimmy shows up and you know the whole thing. Blah, 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 but yeah. they just don't look right. Said <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, so Philly, Philly will lock into the seven. They'll face Milwaukee <laughs> in the first round. 
He counts. <laughs> they will lose to Milwaukee in the first round. Who who's losing to Milwaukee in the first round? Philly. Philly. Wow. Dame Lillard on a solo mission saying, no, this no, is no, like no, Portland, no. baby. Freak Freak nah. will come back. You got to remember, this guy will come back in like, let's There's say, two and a half. Right? No, no, it's his uh, calf. So oh, it's his calf? They'll, they'll it's it, a, it's it an Achilles lightly. strain, though. It is an Achilles strain. Though. Yeah, yeah, but it's like mm. he'll come yeah, back in two he and a half come back. because he's a very healthy guy in general, yes. right? Yeah, remember yeah. when he had I that, hyper, do it. that hyper knee extension like in the finals and he came back and he still crushed it, dropped 50 on the sun? Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't like, do it this year, but it looks like he's coming back. I wouldn't either, but Milwaukee will beat them, okay? Mm-hmm. Then Doc Rivers will be like, see, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's a narrative against me, whatever, all this shit. Oh, yeah, he will bring it up. And, and then Embiid's gonna, and then Embiid and Nick Nurse are going to do the same thing <laughs> and say, hey, listen up, man. We weren't healthy this year. Joel missed a big chunk of time, blah, blah, blah. Next year we'll be better. Oh, he got it built in. He said, yeah. yeah, for sure. Listen, he got that gun loaded. This is a narrative that's happening. You could stitch this. You could clip it. Put it up on your wall. I'll even make it into an NFT for you. Like, so. Hey, I like it. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I just, I know the day Joel got injured, Doc went into his office, kicked back in the chair, put his feet up on the table, and so his hands behind that. his head, and said, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, was this he wrong. Because yeah. now he got the excuse built in, no matter what happens. Hey, we didn't have our guy. I don't, think, I don't think Milwaukee's making it out of the first round. Personally, I'm going. I'm I'm going against that. I I I, I want to see uh, them do it. I, I I'm I'm not feeling Philly. I would like to see it, but I just can't see it. They're just slipping. They're losing the Memphis. Yeah, I They're can't see the it. Raps and Doc Rivers. I can't is, see it Doc Rivers. Like we went off on this last episode. I just I just can't see it. But Talent alone think, may be able to do it, but I don't know. I saying? think they could they could surprise people with if they had Giannis stay off. And yeah. Dame just turn into like Portland Dame, and then the other role players go mm-hmm, hard. Mm-hmm, I think they mm-hmm. could surprise somebody in one round, but with yeah, Giannis there and the injury and trying to make it work, and they yeah. hadn't made it work all year. Plus, Doc is at, at the head. Mm. Man, it's too much. It's too much. But hey, A Rod might get you know like Giannis likes to do the Superman stuff. Like you thought I was down. Yeah, that is a that is a good call. Yeah, because he might just come in and just absolutely. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, yeah. da, da. <laughs> Which takes a little bit off of Dame, right? And then Dame can just kind of settle back and and just do what he does and not have. To I don't believe you, Dame. Himself. You need to yeah. show us, man. You got to show yeah. and prove, Dame. I don't think we can give Dame that uh, benefit of the doubt no more, bro. Mm, I, I really see. don't think so. Well, next up for the Raps, speaking of which, uh, there's only two games left. And oh, it's yeah, back, the Raptors. Back to back with <laughs> Miami. So they play they play in Miami tomorrow night, 8 p.m., and then they stay in Miami. So what a way to finish the year off in Miami, Florida, on the beach. And the 14th, this Sunday, Miami, 1 p.m. So how do you want to see them finish off this? What do you want to see? I, I don't know, gracious. man. I just, Look yeah, at the, right? I They call know. it a schedule loss, baby. Yeah. So Listen, Miami, last season, last game of the season? I'll, yep. tell, you, I'll tell you exactly how these two games are going to go. Game Man. one. Jimmy Hold Butler. on. You need, you need to make this a soundtrack. Let me put a little bit of this in. Explain. Right. There we go. <laughs> nice and <lovely. laughs> Game one. Tyler yeah. Hero going 35 points. All right. Making it Ugh. nice and easy. Oh, Smash the yeah. Raptors. They win by over 20. Game Jeez. two. Jimmy Butler says, fuck it, why am I here, man? Let me just go for a $20 coffee. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's it, man. <laughs> Jimmy Butler goes and hangs with Ricky Ross. <laughs> Raptors lose again by another 15, and we call it a season. 15. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that I think Raptors are going to go in there, and in two games, I think they're going to lose by a total of 67 points. I oh, think man. that's what it's going to They're going <laughs> to lose by 32 and tomorrow night and then whatever the math is on that for Sunday's game. So I just want to see this season end. It's been, um, you know, I just want to go into the draft next year. I want them to get healthy. I want to see the young guys. I want to see some of these young guys come back next year, and that's that. Max P, what about you? What do you see? You guys go out to uh, live. I think they pop on, a, on Friday night or whatever. Hopefully you're in town <laughs> that night. <laughs> Have a great, great time, you know. Stay with and, me, yeah, yo. Hey, if it's the last game of the season. You know what? Go <laughs> ahead and take a little dip, man. Go ahead, take a little dip, a little taste. It's, it's, you know, it's you know, it's all done now. You know, <laughs> cash out to the coke. Cash out. We're walking out the casino, boys. 
You port, you port. Goodness gracious! Yeah, they might lock you. They might lock you suit. in the back room. <laughs> they might lock you up in the back room and beat on you for a minute. <laughs> That'll be the funny part, right after the game ends on on a on a Sunday. They get outside of the stadium. There's Jonte waiting in a silk suit. Like, let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. He's big. He's like a, a turquoise. <laughs> Uh, on that note, boys, let's have a good night. Everybody listening, we got two games left. Let's get through it together. And this was another episode of the Sportitos Toronto Raptor Podcast. And we are your hosts, Mr. El Hoopo. That's me. And that's A-Rod. He's going to get cleaned up with that lineup real soon. After the Raptor stress leaves him. And Max P, always fresh. You gotta pay me. And listen up. If you like this, hit like. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. Catch us on YouTube anytime.